Welcome back to Muse. American Ballet Theater's newest work was inspired by the friendship between Chuck Close and Philip Glass. In 1968, Close painted the composer, who returned the favor in 2005 by creating a musical portrait of the artist. Now Yorma L.O. has choreographed a ballet set to Glass's music, featuring a set design by Close. I'm not sure whether Phil considers it was a favor that I painted and drew him so many times, probably 120 or so pieces over the years from when I photographed him in 1968 till now. Um, so uh, the idea that at this, uh, at, at this point, somebody who was so important to me uh, and, uh, and whose ideas were so similar to mine when we were coming up in the late 60s and early 70s, um, and to see it um, uh, come sort of come full circle, plus the involvement with dance, that's what the New York art scene was like in the late 60s and early 70s. That cross-fertilization of ideas, cross-discipline, was really, really important. This is the stuff that I fell in love with. I started thinking about portraits and uh, thinking, wouldn't it be cool if Philip Glass wrote a portrait of Chuck Close? Since the early 90s, he has been composing piano etudes to explore the possibilities of the instrument. He's always played, but I think he wanted to explore the piano much as Chopin and Liszt did. I think uh, the music is, for my sense, is made really for dance, actually. So it's, it's hopefully, and I, I find it's, it's gonna go together beautifully, it has a dynamic, it's, this particular piece has a lot of beauty and, and story in itself, so even abstract movement can, can be combined with that music and it will be storytelling. The whole thing seems so narcissistic and self-involved uh, that uh, you know, I find it somewhat embarrassing. In fact, I wanted to use images of Phil and, and they said, oh no, no, this is a portrait of you. Well, that means you have to use your imagery. And uh, uh, so I sort of reluctantly accepted that that was the, um, the requirement. And then I just wanted to try and talk about what our, my art looked like at the time when uh, Phil and I were just getting started. And then to try and talk about where Phil's music has gone since then. And uh, it does seem to parallel uh, changes that have taken place in my own work. This is a classical situation where a lot of artists get together and, uh, you know, exposed to each other's way of thinking. So how those influence me when I go to the studio, those experiences that I had about his art. So, you know, make a combination of different art forms and see what comes out. The costumes had to be something unto themselves, but at the same time fit in almost conceptually in referencing the piece. I think there's a blending first of the subject matter being Chuck, he as a person, his life, his technique in painting, then the element of Philip Glass's piece, the music, and how it conforms to that about Chuck, and then of course the extraordinary choreography. You can go back to Cocteau and Picasso. You can, you, you know, there's all kinds of uh, times when uh, Rauschenberg did sets for Merce Cunningham to John Cage's music. This is something that we're that we're used to. Uh, it happens to be the first. I've always wanted to do something. Thought about it, but this is the first time that I've actually uh, uh, stuck my, you know, wheelchair wheel into the water. I guess. <laughs> 